Hello and welcome to another video of Big Data Do It Yourself Tutorials by Bharti Jyoti Consultancy. In this video, we are going to look at external tables, how they are different from managed tables. We're going to talk about in uh, external tables in detail. In detail, so. To start with, I'm going to say here to have a game terminal and first of all, I'm going to upload the file, this file, big data games subset, which we have done to create managed table as well. So I'm going to go to upload files select files and again select games subset and you can see that the games subset file is now available on the file browser to confirm that i'm going to run the hadoop fs exclamation hadoop fs minus ls user eyes warehouse I'm sorry, this is going to give me the list of tables and ta uh, uh, databases. I'm going to use user BDCF. Perfect. So now we have this CSV file uploaded. So I'm going to create the external table. Remember the, the text, the syntax for creating a managed table, create table load CSV, row formatted delimited, is terminated by and stored as text file. We have to make a few changes to this. First of all, I'm going to rename it and I'll say load external. You don't have to really say external. I can say ext as well and say csv, ext csv. External csv as the file name. Next, before the table, I have to enter external keyword, which will let it understand that it's an external table. I'm going to create an external table. Next, here, I'm going to say location. Here, I have to specify the location to make sure that it knows from where I need this CSV to be picked up. And So, location user BDCS big data games subset dot CSV. Now let's run it. I go back to the workspace. So it says it's not a directory, it needs a directory. So let's remove CSV and only keep the directory under which the CSV exists. So let's do that again. And the table is created. If I say select star from CSV and I'm going to limit it to 10, it's going to come up. Let me clear it. Now, let's take a look at the table which is created in the database. I'll say Hadoop FS minus. Let's let's start with show table. So ext csv is there. Great. I'll say 
describe xtc as v it's there and i'm going to say formatted txt csv and you can see that it says external table in the type so the data type everything remains same it says external table let's look at the file which we have coded remember when we created manage tables we saw that the file was gone the file is still there file still exists it does not delete the file after creating the table let's look at in the file system if the file exists probably it should let's verify it does it does exist so let's clear it clear the screen just for a minute and let's see again yes the file exists hmm. so the first difference between managed table and external table is that the external table does not eat up the file the file still exists while managed table takes the data and throws away the file so let's see about if the table is existing here fs minus ls recall that the the structure is hive warehouse so let's do bdcs dot db because we created under bdcs database Wow, amazing, isn't it? The table does not exist under DB, hmm, right? But when you say, say show tables, it does. That's the second difference. The external table does not show up under DB. See here, the ext does not show up, but it shows up on the show tables command. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what happens in the hive. So go to hive, query editors, hive. In the hive, oh, let's refresh it. Yes, it shows up. It shows up in the hive. It shows up in the show tables, but it does not show up in the directory structure. So I'm going to say lim select star from ext and limit n. I'm going to run it and see from a user perspective, an external table and the load and the managed table is not different at all. Both of both of these tables do exist and you can see both of the tables here but at the file system level the table is not created and the file still exists right now let's see what happens with the meta store table recall that in the meta store table the last time we were able to see the load csv table there you go in the meta store table this also exists this means that irrespective of whatever you create from a user perspective external table and the managed table exist in hive it exists in meta store manager everywhere except the file system the file is not created the, the, the file system you cannot see that table. That's the only difference. The, the file, big data claims, subset continue to exist. That means each 
discuss the metadata, the data still lies in the CSV format. And you can use your select statement to list, let's say count, see many, how many count of records it's loaded in EXT CSV data set. You can use it just as you would use any regular table. And this is the concept of managed table versus external table. We are going to see next how to write some queries and see how Hadoop reacts to it. MapReduce does the function. And then we are going to talk about pig, as I mentioned in the previous video. And then once you have the basic understanding, I'm going to connect the Hadoop Hive structure, Hadoop file system to a reporting tool like Tableau, Cognos, ClickView. You can connect to anything, but in the videos, I'm going to show you how to connect it to Tableau. And uh, then we are going to do some live streaming of data fed in and big data consumes and does some analytics and a lot more. So the the records, 8,992 have been loaded and you can see a map reduced tab was used to count the, the table of the, 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 the records. Thank you for watching.